pretty nice out. Uh, we're supposed to get some thunderstorms today, so I gotta take it on the cautious side. But let's see what's out in the ocean. This isn't the best time of year. It's still kind of summer mode. Like I said, we gotta just, you know, watch what this does. Um, more than likely, when that wind switches out of the south, I gotta go home. But oh, I'm not gonna mess with it much. But yeah, we're looking pretty good here. Let's go launch our kayak, see what we can catch out there. Get a nice little reading, see how things may have changed around these parts. So that's instantly four feet of water. It's pretty interesting. All right, well, let's get ourselves set up then. I'm gonna shoot straight for a mile and change out. I'm not seeing any, any activity on the beach. It is overcast, so maybe this might take a minute. I'm gonna find a lot of flounder, I guarantee that, but let's see if we can find anything else out here. All right, just saw my first Spanish mackerel as that sun's coming up. Last year around this time, the, there was definitely more bait out here. More, more of a start to the fall fishing. I'm just not seeing that right now. Ooh. Let's see if we got him. We do. First bite. This is on a Sabil Magic Swimmer. I think that's what this is. Uh, this, the, sorry, the storm kicking stick. All right. Getting me optimistic here. Playing with my emotions now. Probably Spanish mackerel. Yeah, that's a good one. Good start. He suggested I should try those magic swimmers and he told me they work pretty good for Max, so here I am. It's a nice one, man. I kind of wrapped them up here. He's doing an old Spanish mackerel wrap on me. I guess how you can, um, what's it called? Uh, break them off by accident. Nice, man. Yeah, it's a good one. Yikes. Yeah, that's good summertime Spanish right there. Let's get some pliers. Right, that's the lure. Um, I don't know if they make these anymore. Uh, this is the storm kicking stick, but um, what's very similar to this is the Magic Swimmer. That uh, used to be um, from Sabil. Now it's a Berkeley brand. They're all, you know, but I'll put a link to get them. They're kind of a cool lore. They have their uses sometimes. That's kind of like a bunker pattern. All right, that's a good Spanish mackerel right there. Gladly catch these big fat um, summer Spanish. I'm gonna keep one, maybe two tops. Let's bleed them out. All right, so my first bite on the troll. It's a good size Spanish mackerel. There he is, kicking it off right here. See if we see any surface activity. I ain't f***ing with these clouds, man. It doesn't look right to me, man. Look at that. That don't look right. All right, we gotta go inshore, guys. I don't like being out here and getting those clouds forming over my head like that. It might be fine, but dude, I can't risk it in a kayak. It's just that simple. This might work out okay out here, but this does look, I don't know. I'm not in the craft to take chances, you know what I'm saying? That really, like I'm seeing rain materializing there. This really decides to punish me. Um, I'm kind of helpless, so I gotta get back towards the beach, making my executive decision. Lots of people will call me the P word. That's all right, this ain't worth it. You know, you know what it is too, it's like you fish alone. You gotta always go on the side of caution when you're alone. That's all I'm saying. 
Oh wait, if something doesn't feel right and you're alone, you gotta pull the plug. That sucks. All sorts of beach replenishment silliness that we're going here. I have like, I have two jig heads, eight swim shads, five mud crabs. Uh, let's see if we get some reds on this spot. The wind's starting to cook though. So far so good here. Uh, we might not be able to chance this very long. I'm out in 30 feet to start. Let's do a couple drifts, see what happens. I like how that rip is right there. Your jig game is strong. Stick with what you're good at. Okay, Mother Nature. That's what you're forcing me to do. This one's a flounder. Better than a toad. Flounder. It's a nice one. It's a good one right there, man. That's a good one, boy. Slab. Plenty of flounder. It's about three flounder in, I don't know, 10 minutes? Let's see if there's any sheep that were something different, right? There's a couple storms on the ocean. One that's not really materializing inland. So, you know, sitting okay. Not great. So I got like seven mud crabs. This is a bait locker advertised as a gulp, leak proof gulp container. Okay. Same exact spot I'm catching flounder. Oh, sheep's head and flounder are gonna be on pretty similar structures. And oyster toadfish and drum, which I'm surprised I have not seen one yet. So what I like to do is I'm dropping this Bottom sweeper down to the bottom, right? As soon as it gets, as soon as it gets down there, it's gonna hold it there. Who's messing with my crab down there? Could that be you, Mr. Oyster Toadfish? Could it be you? I think it is you, but maybe it wasn't. Nope, I guess it wasn't. I wouldn't need a jig. Wow. Wow, that was sneaky. Look at that. Look what he did. He 
got me hung up. I am 100% hung. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. Mud crab, man. Wouldn't touch the plastic. What I'm getting on the plastic is um, flounder. It's not to say drum aren't on the, might not, you know, definitely could be a good amount of drum around, but, man, but every fish gets into its own, like, how should, how should I say, inactive mood or, you know, low activity, whatever you want to call it. And drum are no ex exception, man. Even big bluefish, man. People are like, oh, bluefish are stupid. Dude, have you, you've never seen when a big bluefish bite is hard. Like, they shut down. They they won't eat anything, just like all these other fish. Anyway, enough talk. Talk, talk, talk. All the, you can find all the talking YouTubers you want out there. Let's see if we can land something there. Damn, I can't believe I lost that fish. That was bad. Your toad, unfortunately. That's a good fish. I think this one's a sheep's head. Definitely not whatever the other fish was. I think that other fish was a drum. Oh, that's a good one though. Oh my God, shark, shark, shark. That. Oh, I guess I should stick with the flounder then. Hopefully that sheep's head made it, man. Damn. <laughs> uh, all right, I think I'm gonna leave these fish alone today then. Don't wanna feed uh, redfish and sheep's heads sharks. And flounder season's closed. Didn't seem like the sharks cared about them actually. I caught like four flounder before we saw a shark. Uh, that was a good size sheep's head too. He's like, that was a real nice one. So I tried a couple different spots. They didn't work out. Um, uh, everywhere I'm going that I'm dropping jigs down that has some structure is giving up flounder So hopefully I could just get back out into the ocean again Any day now and do something different again. All right. I'm gonna try to get into the ocean tomorrow again Another round of that Always guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you guys on the on the next video did not go as planned today That's definitely a day where you know that didn't go as planned a lot of flounder, but didn't go as planned